Hey, it's all Wheaton Freight 976 here with the truth. Um, I'm gonna put up my. I, I tried uploading it a few times. A few times I did. I wasn't satisfied with it, but I'm gonna upload my Ruka video on Sunday. And my Rick Perry video on Tuesday. But this, I just. I'm gonna stop this before it escalates. Well, I hope I can stop it. And that's. Here, here we go again. Last time it was Ruka. This time it seems to be a person named The Healthy Addict who has 20,000 subscribers. I was recommended this person by <clears throat> channels like Chris and other people that said she was just absolutely incredible. That's up for debate after watching a video I just saw called Chivalry Sucks. Take out the word chivalry, put in the word uh, your video. And uh, let's get to it. I'm going to absolutely dissect and destroy this video. Uh, let's get to it. Come on. Hey everybody, so I know it's been forever since I've talked about the sexism thing, um, but I wanted to make sure... Maybe you shouldn't have talked about it again. I kept my promise and got back to you on that. Um, if you didn't see my original sexism video, you want to go right over here and click that link. I did, it was just as bad as this one. And uh, watch the original before watching this. Now, um, I am going to talk about sexism pertaining to women in particular. Now, that's not to say that it doesn't happen to men, because it does, and it affects men in different ways than it does from women. Um, Wait, hold it. No. Um, the, the whole point of sexism in any, uh, when it comes to any gen either gender is it to make the other one not feel like they're as equal as the other one. So, believe me, no, it doesn't have a different effect. It has the same effect. But the reason I'm going to talk about women throughout this video is because the majority of research that we have is using women instead of using men. So, apologies for that. Right on that one. Just bear in mind, yes, I know men experience sexism too. So one thing that I want you guys really to understand throughout the vi this video is... Okay, when you said I know it's... Uh, were you trying to excuse excuse what's coming because pretty much this is kind of a sexist video. Is that yes, sexism exists. And yes, there are two types of sexism, um, which I covered in the last video. And if you're denying sexism, this this is such a well-researched field. It's basically de not like denying evolution or gravity and so on and so forth. Insert scientific theory here. So, sexism does exist, and I'm sexist, so are you, we all are, we destroy- Stop. Okay. I hate that analogy, because I'll tell you why. It's like I had a debate with a friend of mine in, a, in private messages. I'm not going to tell who it is. But, him saying in 1 p.m. to me that every, every religious person was nuts. Wrong! Not every human being is sexist. As a grown person, I think, a uh, grown man. I think I reserve the right to make my own judgment whether I am sexist or not. I don't feel that I am, because I believe that we both deserve the e you know equal opportunity. That there are, and this can't be helped, genetic differences. Uh, physically, uh, majority of the time, men are physically stronger, but there are some women who are physically stronger than men. So again, I want to you go by a person-to-person -person basis. It's like Ruka and, the, and her little superiors, as she calls them, uh, French elements in them, trying to say that African Americans have smaller brains than uh, white people, so apparently they don't have the intelligence. I can destroy that with uh, this. Uh, it's been shown in science that women have smaller brains than men. So, women score, have scored higher on SATs than a lot of guys. And, uh, you know, so give me a break. It's absolutely, this was absolutely stupid. You judge by a person-to-person -person basis. Not every single person, not every single religious person is nuts, is racist, is sexist, you know, that that is just wrong. That within itself is sexist, racist, or bigoted. To be the best egalitarians as possible. The question is, is that wrong? Is it okay? And in particularly, is are certain types of sexism bad? And what I'm going to talk about today is... Yes, any type of sexism is bad, okay? This benevolent sexism, or another word which is part of benevolent sexism, is chivalry bad. So, to do a quick review of what the two types of sexism that we study are, there's benevolent sexism, 
Oh, Ashley, don't worry about these dishes. I'll do them. Your hands are too pretty and small. Go get your sexy ass to bed. I'll be there in a few minutes. Thank you. Yeah. So that video was a benevolently sexist act because what it's displaying here is as if, you know, the woman is too fragile, too pretty to do the dishes and so on. So obviously, you know, here, I'll get the, let me get that for you kind of mentality. Then there's hostile sexism. Ashley, I told you women don't do dishes in my house. Men do. Now get your ass to bed. I'll fuck you later. Okay, if that wasn't meant to be funny, it was not funny. If it was meant to be dramatic, it was dra not dramatic. A woman getting slapped by a man is not funny. As a brother who had a sister who was beat by a man, believe me, it was painful. Okay, so maybe that was a little bit more abusive than actually hostile, uh, but the point still remains. Um, ironically, doing the dishes is the man's job in this household situation, and the woman doing so, she's stepping out of her place, so BAM! So there are a few different... Uh, yes, I understand that one, that yes, we should go, again, what I said, by a person-to-person -person basis, and that um, if we should not say, oh, this is for guys necessarily, this is for a woman necessarily, I, I kind of understand that one, okay studies that I've read that are very, very compelling to me in this world of benevolent sexism. Uh, so the most compelling to me have been when they involve the workplace. And there's this nice little gem of a study called When Female Applicants Meet Sexist Interviewers, The Cost of Being a Target of Benevolent Sexism by Good and Rudman. And what they had here is they had a female interviewee and three male interviewers for something like a Costco. Um, now, when, when you're reviewing this as a as a female, you know, reading what's going on here, uh, you were either reading the interviewer as a not sexist individual, as a benevolent sexist, or a hostile sexist. Now, in the end, nobody likes the hostile sexist, right? Because that's literally putting the individual down because of their sex. Um, the interesting things happen between the not sexist and the benevolent uh, sexist interviewer. Now, when the benevolently sexist interviewer was liked more, the... Okay, I do thought you said, though, in your video that we were all sexist, so this analogy kind of doesn't make sense. The interviewee was liked more, but... Anyway, let me, let me finish. ...that seen as less competent and therefore less hireable. Um, and it was a significant enough of a gap from the not sexist, which I think is really, really interesting. So because of the sexist interviewer, um, you know, she's liked more, but she's obviously a poor little woman that doesn't know how to do a job or whatever, or work in a warehouse. One of the other studies that I found really interesting in the midst of all this is titled, I'll Get That For You, The Relationship Between Benevolent Sexism and Body Self-Perceptions is Shepherd et al. Um, now, what this study was about is instead of it being a, you know, survey that people would read and move on. It actually involved people and men, the actual testing. So what would happen is you would have a woman come into a room not realizing that the study has already actually begun. And there's a man and woman uh, research assistant sitting across from her. The researcher comes in and says, hey, I need you to bring me those files over there in the corner. What happens is one of two things that the woman in the room experiences. Uh, scenario one, the woman grabs the files and both the woman and man walk out with them. Scenario number two, the guy says, oh, here, let me get that for you, which is kind of a benevolently sexist act. Picks up a Stop. Okay. Now, how do you know? Do you know what that person's thinking? I open doors for women, just like I do men. I pick up, I have picked up things that women have dropped for them, just like I have picked up things for men that they have dropped. Are you inside that person's mind? Do you know exactly what they are thinking when they are doing when they are doing that? It's called being courteous. Maybe it's not sexist. It's called courteous. And I can destroy this thing, this whole video with this analogy. If I see a woman who gets drunk from behind by a man who is trying to rape her or beat her, my old sexist behind is going to jump right in and try to see. And hopefully, I can break it up and get him the hell off of her. Even, you know, even scientists will tell you that, yes, it may be uh, sad, it may be because of DNA and stuff, but a lot of times, like I said earlier, not all the time, but 
the average woman is not as strongly built, unless she knows karate and stuff, than a guy. So she gets jumped by a bigger man who has outpowered her. Wouldn't it make more sense to have someone who is more physical, unless she has mace, I'm going to cover that before anybody brings it up, to have somebody like a, like a guy or a bunch of people, women, men, try to help them get that person away. So that way, what do you think will be more damaging? Someone who is trying to help them by getting the rapist and stuff off or letting the rape go through. I happen to think that letting the rape go through would be worse. And I know what you're thinking. Well, would you do the same for the man? Yes. Again, your whole analogy in that video fell apart when you just basically made it about we're all sexist, which, no, we're not all sexist. And uh, that if a man does something polite for a woman, that is sexism. That, well, let me, what do you hear one part in here, folks? So this is absolutely hysterical. Files, and they both leave together. Um, and then the girl that's sitting in the room actually goes out and fills out a survey. Now, uh, what happened here? Well, it shows that the woman sitting in the room just as much as witnessing the benevolently sexist act, not actually taking part in it, but just seeing it, was enough to increase body self-surveillance. Um, and the idea is, is this kind of reminds, uh, you know, the woman in the society of her gender roles. You know, women aren't supposed to carry heavy things and so on and so forth. Um, what is body self Increased body surveillance lead to it can lead to depression, sexual dysfunction, low self-esteem, eating disorders. And this Whoa! So, a man doing a kind act for her can lead to all of this. Instead of I don't know, people trying to put pressure on a woman. Now you could you could have said that. That I mean, there, there's so many good examples you could have used, like. Uh, you know what, we think you're too heavy for a job. See, that that right there would have still, it would have been outright benevolent sexism, and it would have been correct. Not if a man picks up an item for her, she's not going to get depressed, she's not going to uh, have bad eating habits and turn into a, a, you know, a bulimic or anorexic. Okay? The whole list of bad... So to sum it all up, oh, yes, a whole list of bad. For you guys, benevolent sexism is bad. It, it can be just as bad and as harmful as hostile sexism, and it goes unchallenged because it seems positive on the surface. Um, okay, I know I was using hostile, yes, with the rape analogy, but I was trying to get a point across that, you know what, if I'm, I'm, I'm going to open a door for a woman, just like I am a man, I'm going to do it. It has nothing to do with the gender. It has something to do with being light. I mean, there are people out there like that. Just because somebody does something good for you, there's, that doesn't mean there's automatically a hidden intent to it. That doesn't mean that I'm sitting there going like, well, the poor boy, the lady, she just can't do that all by herself. Mm. I mean, just like I know, when a woman opens the door for me, and it's happened, I don't sit there and think, I must not think that I don't know, I don't know how to do I don't know how to do nothing for me. Don't do that for me, woman. You know what I'm like? Well, thank you. See, this is the, the point of trying to pigeonhole everybody and stuff. You leave yourself wide open. You know, your your video fell apart when you basically said, I'm sexist, you're sexist, everyone's sexist. No. The best analogy would have been you I'm going to take this person and that person, and this person happens to be sexist, but he might not know it. And, you know, that would have been a perfect analogy, but to sit there and say, and speak for other people, whether or not they're sexist or not, the whole analogy just falls apart. I'm, I'm going to stop the video there. It goes on for a minute or two more. She had to make a video response to uh, Richard Coughlin, who called her out. Uh, well, he, you know, he didn't get his, uh, I, I have to admit, I got a little snippy, but it's just, this video was so awful. And she tried, she backtracked on a lot of things, but, you know, you can't take back some of the things that you, you said in the video, that a woman who is uh, a victim of benevolent sexism, who uh, had uh, a man carry a file for her or something, would probably end up uh, leading to 
uh, anorexia and, and crap, which is the biggest load of bullshit. I am actually a subscriber. I, you know, again, I took the advice of people who said you gotta subscribe to her, Michael. We know how you like intelligent people, and I was actually looking for different types of people. Yes, I was looking for more female vloggers because you don't see, unfortunately, I don't know why, but a whole lot of uh, women political vloggers. My favorite is uh, the the Tickety Boo Boo. She's my favorite, and I love Abby Normal. But I've watched a couple of your videos and about sex, and I, I, I just don't, please, I would like to know why I should actually still remain a subscriber. Because, you know, all I've heard is just a bunch of dribble over something, that, I mean, because they did a, 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 I'll leave the link in the description bar below, but PolitiFacto's story, you could have done one on this about, uh, there are more women in poverty now than there has been in the last 20 years in America. And one out of five Every five women in America don't have health insurance. Okay, what is the reason behind that? So you could have done a much better video. You know, I mean, I know we all take pride in our videos, and we, you know, but this is just my opinion. If you're proud of the video, I, I can't make up your mind. But the fact is, I, well, in my eyes, I thought the video sucked. I guess that's why I was a little angry because I was just sitting there like everybody just kept telling me how good you were and how insightful. I mean, you're even on Chris's pages of recommended. She don't, she's only got four channels. And that's Gary, Amendum, Anti-Bullshit Man, Peach, and you. And I was like, okay. I had, I wanted to start watching some of your videos. And maybe I need to watch more. But from what I've seen so far, I'm not impressed. If, I mean, if you want to, you could leave a response or just a comment and tell me I'm wrong. Fine. I'm, I'm going to set this up as a video response to your video, but I don't get it. I, I, I mean, this, this was just, you missed such an opportunity. I mean, I know you were trying to talk about benevolent sexism, but a woman, hostile sexism will lead to worse than what benevolent sexism will. And I know that benevolent sexism can lead to women thinking, oh, I'm just a woman. You know, I mean, like, they can, it can reinforce gender stereotypes. It can. But... Just opening the door or getting a file for a woman does not make it sexism. Um, that's the end of the video. I, 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 <laughs> this is one of the worst videos I've seen. And you really missed an opportunity to really talk. You want to talk about sexism. There could have been so many things you could have talked about. Um, I hope you prove me wrong and stuff, but, um, that's the end, y'all, that's the truth.